thank you, God. It's my life, Father. We just thank you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And the church say, Amen. 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 Now let's go to that. We go keep that John text chapter six open. And I want to come from verse 30 to 35. It read really good to me. Mm -hmm. um, John chapter six, verse 30 to 35. They said therefore to him, what signs show you then that we may see and believe you? What do you, what, what do you work? <laughs> our, our fathers did not, did eat manna in the desert. It is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And then Jesus said to them, verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which comes down from heaven, who gave and gives the word life to the world. And then said they to him, Lord, evermore, give us this bread. And verse 35, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger, and he shall believe on me shall never thirst. Let me turn over to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Chapter 6, verse 33. And it says, hallelujah. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Amen. This morning, Amen. our topic is Jehovah Jireh. Dr. Griffin, you confirmed that message when you prayed this morning. You said, God, you are Jehovah Jireh. So this morning, our message topic is Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. All right. All right. When Abraham experienced Jehovah's provision, he built an altar so that he would remember that day. Mm. The Lord's table is on Mount Moriah. And when we come to remember that Jehovah is Dara, our provider. Help me, Holy Ghost. All right. Breathe. I want y'all to breathe. That's right. I'm asking you to take a deep breath right now. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, hold it, and let it exhale slowly. I want you to do that once more again. Only much slower this time. Concentrate. Feel the air as it goes past your nostrils and fill your lungs. Feel it, beware of it. When the lungs are full, hold it and then feel the air as it comes out. And when you're, when you're done, exhale and say, thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Now, somebody this morning couldn't breathe in themselves the little air that we breathe, that we take and we take for granted, that Jehovah, now the breath of the Lord, breathe through our nostrils. We breathe it in our lungs to expand, and we hold it long as we can, and we exhale the, the breath, and it breathes out through our nostrils. We can feel the presence of the air. All right. <laughs> you ready? We're going to do it one more time. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. Breathe out. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Amen. Pastor, you silly this morning. No, I'm not. Hallelujah. That Amen. name Jehovah is the English translation of God's personal name, Yahweh, which must be taken from Jesus' Hebrew name, Yazoo, and, and, and turn into Jesus. And the word Jireh means provide in Hebrew. Well, remember the first name of God that we encounter in the Bible? We found in Genesis 1, it's in the, in the beginning, Elohim, God, the powerful creator. He created the universe and everything in it. Help me, Holy Ghost. Galaxies, solar stars, and, and planets, suns, and moons, and, and all the animals. He created everything. He created the land and the sea and filled the earth with birds and fishes and animals of all kinds. And he provided for them. He created aid and air and water, food and shelter. He created all this revived to Jehovah Jireh to creation. So everything we have this morning, we didn't eat it for, we didn't provide it. The Lord provided it for us. That's he said right. that the work of 
our money, but the Lord allowed for us to go to work this morning because the job still could have been there and we still could have been sleeping. But Jehovah Jireh allowed us this morning to be able to do what we need to do in order to make provision for what he does for us. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. Jehovah Amen. Jireh provides. When the time came for the Hebrew slaves to be free from, free from Egypt, the only food they took with them was some unleavened bread and whatever food they could carry. They certainly didn't have anything near enough food to last until they reached the promised land. 40 years, they didn't have 40 years worth of food, amen. Uh, uh, but, but, but God provided, he provided bread, he provided water. It may not have been a, a supplement, hallelujah, it was enough to sustain, sustain them. Why bread? Maybe not sound so glorious. I don't eat bread, but hallelujah, but somebody loves bread. I love it when I have it. Amen. But the bread, some of my bread is essential. If you, if you have a meal, Sister Mary, and you don't have no bread, it seems like your meal is not completed. But I've learned how to leave the bread alone, praise the Lord, and eat my meal with my bread. But he said that while bread maybe not, may not sound so glorious, we need to Remember that we are not talking about just old bread or wheat. We're talking about we we talking about manna, bread from heaven, uh, and, and we that song that says bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. That's how the, that's an old hymn, and we said bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Hallelujah! But someone that will literally experience God's provision of a daily bread firsthand. Remember the poor widow living in a town that had no one had ever heard of before. Zarephath. Y'all remember the Zarephath. And until Elijah showed up that one day. We don't know her name, but simply known as a widow of Zarephath. And, and, and that is how she is still known today. Her story can be found in chapter 17 in the, book, the first book of Kings in the Old Testament. But in verse 1, hallelujah of chapter 17, Jehovah tells Ahab, the king of Israel, through his prophet Elijah, that there shall be neither dew nor rain these three years except my word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The drought was a judgment against Ahab and Israel and for the raiment auditory, being auditory, they're worshiping, hallelujah, false gods. Amen. I'm going to slow down, Dr. Griffin. Worshiping false gods. So needless to say, King Ahab, let me tell this story. And the citizen of Israel was not happy with the news. So God commanded Elijah to leave Israel for his own sake. <laughs> for, for, for a while, Elijah hid in the wilderness near, hallelujah, a stream. And while God sent ravens to bring him bread and meat, hmm, sounds familiar, doesn't it? God provided bread, amen, and, and meat in the wilderness, hallelujah. And eventually the stream dried up because of lack of rain. So God, hallelujah, commanded Elijah to go to a little village of Seraphat. And God tells him that when he gets to Seraphat, to seek out a widow, that whom Jehovah had commanded to feed and take care of him. So when Elijah reaches to Seraphat, hallelujah, he begins looking for a widow. And he spies a woman who is, who is by herself, all dressed in black. Picking up sticks, let me tell the story, for somebody to take home and burn in her fireplace or her oven. Elijah calls out her name, and when she comes over to see what he wants, he asks her to bring him a little water to drink. Hospitality, especially when it comes to guests and strangers passing through town, was not only kindness, but sometimes a matter of survival. As she turns to get Elijah a drink of water, he stops her and says, can you bring me a morsel of bread in your head as well? Hallelujah. That must have been a black woman because she looked like that and made man. Hallelujah. And then it said, and normally they wouldn't have been an unreasonable request. But there in the drop, going on and on, drops tend to bring on famines and, and there's not enough to rain to grow food. So as he said, he told me, your God lives, I have nothing baked. Only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug. Uh, and I know I'm gathering the couple of sticks that I may go and prepare for myself and my son may eat and then with that. Well, don't be afraid, said God's prophet. Go and do as you said, as, as I go and do as you said. But first, make me a little cake of it and bring it to me. Hallelujah. Right, that's and right. And afterwards, they'll make it something.
something for yourself and your son. Whoa, how, wait on a minute. Elijah's insistence must have seemed heartless and cruel to say the least. First, really, before she makes her last meal for her son and herself, really, like, like she doesn't have enough to deal with. She just told the stolen stranger that she's about to cook the last new meal and her last little oil was left for her family. Hallelujah. And apparently this person wasn't listening because she said she only had enough flour and oil. Hallelujah. I've been there. Just a little bit of bread. Amen. Just a little bit of leftovers. Just a little bit of meal. A little bit of flour. Hallelujah. And, and he going to ask me to break in him first. Hallelujah. He got some <laughs> nerves. Praise the Lord. And she about to, and she about to meet Jehovah Jireh. If she make a cake and give it to Elijah, there's nothing left for them. So she, she's about to meet Jehovah Jireh, God to the, the provider, the God who provides. Help me, Holy Ghost. Jehovah Jireh tells her through his prophet Elijah that he will provide for her. Well, for thus said Abraham, the God of Israel, the God of the meal uh, must be, not be empty, and the judge of all will not fail until the day that Jehovah sent the rain on earth. It, 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 it can only be described as a huge, breathtaking leap of faith. But what it does, Elijah asked her and shared what left with him. And Jehovah Jireh is faithful to his promise, y'all. Whatever the Lord asks, tells you, he will do it. I might forget yeah. sometime, but the Lord will provide. She, right. wants, she wants you to do it as Elijah did. I know it's not a shot sermon. But it's a good servant. And so that she she was as well as Elijah, but a household eight men and nights. The joy of the meal was not empty. Neither did the jug of the oil fail. Like the more meal she got out, probably the for the meal barrel kept filling up. The more oil she poured out the oil jug, the more oil came in. So I mean, it was sometime when we have we get in our desperate state and we said, bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. That's right. When we need the bread of heaven, I said, strong deliver, strong deliver. We will deliver whatever we need. Hallelujah. See, like sometimes we can't do something, but we ask the Lord, Jehovah Jireh, come and see about us. But the Lord will come and pour all on us. And hallelujah. He will come and fill our house with whatever we need. He That's will right. come. Up on Sunday morning. If you go to church on Sunday morning, I said, Lord, please come within this sanctuary. Come within this place. Hallelujah. I'm on fire this morning because I lay prostrate before the Lord this morning, praying to God. Amen. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me to the brim. Hallelujah. Fill me up, Lord. Anoint me with your all so I can feel your power. Hallelujah. Your Holy Ghost power and be able to feel. Hallelujah. Fill me, oh God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But you can do Amen. the church Amen. Amen. and the widow of, of Seraphat of the text. You done it, you, you'll be in good company. But you can also see it another way. Our faith is built upon the fact that we only in a part where God sees the whole. We only see the parts, but God sees the whole picture. You know, we don't know why we go through these tests, but God knows the whole picture. Amen. But and the widow Sarah and her son had no reason that Elijah need a place to stay. So, he, so Jehovah Jireh provided for the widow and her son because she needed a way. He needed someone to take care of his servant Elijah, keep him alive or during the drought. Well, what is the act of faith that beat us to the widow part? Jehovah provided for Elijah his servant, and then he provided for the woman of Seraphat because she was obedient. Sometimes we God has to do us some, do some, uh, some strange things, but we do what the Lord asks us to do. Don't be surprised. He will flow through. God is Jehovah Jireh. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 During that time, all went out of Abraham and Sarah. They had no children. They decided to take matters into their own hands. And Abraham fathered a child with Hagar, his servant, his hired servant, his wife's servant. And, and the Lord told Hagar to, to name her son Ishmael, which means mm -hmm. God will hear. But 25 mm -hmm. years of the promise of Abraham that his offspring would be a numerous of stars, Jehovah provided for them a son, Isaac. <laughs> Abraham's name was changed from great father to Abraham. 
And, and Amen. the Father nation became Jehovah. He had provided him with the son through the whom God could fulfill his promise to make Abraham and Seth the numbers of the stars. So Sarah Abraham named his son Isaac, which means laughter. So life was good for Abraham <laughs> about, for about 15 years. And then God decided it was time to test Abraham. Amen. And Abraham word that the Bible used for test literally mean the test completed through a, de a demonstration of stress. So sometimes God tests us. It often uh, used in the Old Testament uh, how it, to describe the way in which God would put stress and pleasure on the people to test the test of faithfulness. Well, hallelujah. God tests us this year. On this Zoom, as you said, Sister Lydia, God tests Amen. you to see what you got on Zoom. So he Amen. gonna make it better when we get to the church house. He said, you went to, went to Zoom on Sunday morning. Oh, Amen. when we get to the when we get back to the sanctuary, that the water and that all is gonna flow. So <laughs> let's pause for a moment. Amen. Abraham is old. Amen. Very, very old. And he been he been he been through a lot. Why would God want to test him in the stage of his life? Well, mm -hmm. my sisters and my brothers, we are never exempt from having our faith challenged. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes those trials has come after years of following God faithfully. Well, Lord, I've been in church every Sunday morning. Right. Lord, I prayed for the sick. Lord, I Amen. went to the hospital. A lot of, I visited the sick. And Lord, I gave the, the one who needed water. The Lord said, where were you, hallelujah, when I was hungry? Well, Lord, mm -hmm. I fed you. Where right. was you when I needed Amen. water? Where was Amen. you when I needed somebody to visit me in the hospital? Where was you when I was in the jail house? Where was you, hallelujah? She Amen. Hold the job. Amen. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. God gives Abraham like so much to Expecting that Abraham will obey the staggering commandment. Sometimes we're not given reason either because God wants to know what's on our hearts. Real faith is not only believing despite, despite God, Isaac ready, cut wood for the offering and pleaded for the donkey's bag and set up for the land of Moriah. But Lord, hallelujah, the journey to Moriah was about 50 miles. I'm trying to get a little head because I think I got five more minutes. And took three days for them to get there. And on the third day, says the Bible, my Bible says, Abraham looked up and saw a place in a distance. And he said to the servant, stay here with the donkey. While I, and my, yeah, I and the boy go over there. He didn't say Isaac. He said, I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. So Isaac already, hallelujah. He already, Abraham already had faith that he's going to come back down the mountain with his son. He said, y'all mm -hmm. stay here until we come back down how to you. So did you hear it? No, the pronoun Abraham used. He didn't say we will worship. He said, I will come back. He said, we will worship. We will come back. Abraham had faith. Uh, that it means somehow, someway, both he and Isaac were returned after they had worshiped and sacrificed to Jehovah on Mount Moriah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His only son, of whom had been told, and through Isaac, that Jesus shall be, the sinner shall be renamed to him. It, it didn't make any sense to sacrifice his son, uh, but Abraham was prepared to do it because God said so. Jehovah Jireh somehow worked it out, somehow provided and made it possible to keep his promise to bless the world through Isaac. Even if he had to raise Isaac from the dead, Abraham and Isaac walked up to the mountain together. Isaac speak up and ask the father, here am I, I'm here, my son. He said, the, the fire and the wood are here. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? <laughs> he said, where is the lamb for the burnt offering? So what did he say? He said, the Lord will provide. Mm. Hallelujah. That's the right. Lord will provide. He didn't say, baby, you the, you the sacrifice. He said, but the Lord will provide. That's Hallelujah. Right. But when they came right. to the place, God has shown Abraham, Abraham built an altar there and, and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. And Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to slaughter his son. Wait a minute. Abraham had every intention, everything to follow through his commandment. And when the knife hovered in the air, Hold the knife in the air, ready to come down. Right at that moment, an angel of Jehovah called out to him and said, Abraham, Abraham, woo, hallelujah. Sometimes yeah. when you doubt it, sometimes when 
be on your sick bed. Sometimes when you get your foot on your way out, you hear somebody say, hallelujah. And somebody say, call your name. So I said, Jesse, Jesse, here am I. Don't go, don't go, here I come. Hallelujah, the Lord will provide. But what happened? It's a little over there behind you. I have provided, Jehovah Jireh had provided a lamb, a, a ram in a thicket, praise the Lord. God will provide. Take care. Amen. Amen. God will provide. Amen. When you go through a season of testing, remember that Jehovah, Jehovah sees, Jehovah provides it. And when the months outlast your money, and Jehovah Jireh will provide it. And when you're overwhelmed, God sees, and Jehovah Jireh will provide it. And when you're in trouble, trust God to provide. Amen. If you have any doubt about whatsoever or whosoever, let me show you the picture behind the, the picture. A hallelujah. Isaac carried wood and would be used a sacrifice on his back. Jesus carried a wooden cross through the streets of Jerusalem on the beaten and bloody back. Both Isaac and Jesus were beaten in death and they quietly submitted to the will of their respected father. Mama rise by the temple will eventually be built. At the very place where the blood of the realm soaked in the wood of Abraham, will be become the place where the countless offering will be presented to Jehovah. Some offering, hallelujah, of an oven atonement for sin and other gratitude of God's provision. Biblical scholars tell us that the name Mariah is another name for Calvary, the place where Jesus, hallelujah, laid down his life on two pieces of wood, hallelujah, so yes. that the blood his life was atoned for our sin. Abraham and Isaac, hallelujah, traveled three yes, days to the Lord. Lord. Isaac's life was eventually spared. Jesus was buried for three days before coming back to life. Abraham and Isaac, hallelujah, learned about uh -huh. substitute sacrifice. When God provided a ram to uh -huh. sacrifice in Isaac's place, like uh -huh. when God provided Jesus, hallelujah, uh -huh. them, a substitute a sacrifice uh -huh. on our behalf. Well, mm -hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah. God provision is always, always nearby. The well. realm is close enough to Abraham to see. We may not be able to see the over there, he is near. Well, there is another that we were reading this morning. When Abraham experienced Jehovah provision, he built an altar. Hallelujah. He remembered that day. The Lord table is our Mount Moriah. Hallelujah. Well, well. Come to remember that Jehovah is our Jara and yes, our Lord. provider. The Lord's table is where we come to remember that God, hallelujah, who provides our salvation through the life and blood of his son, Jesus Christ. Always be our provider. That's right. It's also a place where we are called to reflect upon what we wanted to sacrifice for the one was the capital O who sacrificed and provide everything, hallelujah, that we need. Well, Amen. some of his followers must ask him to give him a sign. What sign then will you give? They said that we may see it and believe it. He said, what will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. And it is written, he gave them bread for heaven to eat. And you said, Daddy, I say I'm to tell you, it was not Moses. It was not Moses. It was not Moses that gave you the bread. Hallelujah. It was my <laughs> father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is now which come down from heaven and give like to, to the world. Yes. He said to him, sir, give us this bread always. Sir, right. give That's us right. this bread always. That's Hallelujah. Right. He said it. I am the bread of life. That's he right. said, Whoever yeah. yeah. come to me will never be hungry. Whosoever believing in me will never be thirsty. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh. Hallelujah. This bread, Jehovah Jireh. I break the bread today. Hallelujah. Hold yeah. the cup yeah. of the cup. This is Hallelujah. Elohim. He will provide Jehovah Jireh. I have the cup today. This is the blood, the bread, and the cup. Hold out with your Holy Spirit on us gather here in these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be the, us the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be the before the world the body of Christ, redeemed by your blood. Hallelujah. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours. Almighty God, now and forever. Hallelujah. I'm going to put it down. Praise the Lord. The bread Amen. Is come. Hallelujah. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. 
Hallelujah. Let us Amen. pray the Lord's prayer together today. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be, will be done, done on earth, on earth as, is in as it is in heaven. Give us this, us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. We do not enter into the church. Broken for you. Yeah. This is my blood. The blood shed for you and for many for mission your sin. Hallelujah. At the, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beauty. Look at the beauty of the mountain around us. So listen to those the two verses from the book of Romans. I'm gonna give you the last two verses and then I'm gonna leave you I'm out of here. Romans 5 and 17, it says, hallelujah, I know I'm on top of the Lord this morning, and it says, at the time, please close your eyes, it said, if because of the one man trespassed death, exercise dominion that one, how much more would those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and the gift of righteousness reign in the life of the one man, Jesus Christ? Or Romans 8 and 32, and I'm going to leave you here. He did not spare his own son. <laughs> But he gave Amen. him up for us all. Amen. How would he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things that we need? Mm -hmm. Jehovah Jireh, God the provider who provides. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Us all. Hallelujah. I'm going to share this. I'm going to get on off of here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're looking at a student today, hallelujah. Obtain her master's degree, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Never see our life in seminary. Amen. I'm sorry not to do it. But the Lord said, yes, you're ready. Amen, amen. And then God prepared me with all of those all of those courses that I did that I didn't want to take. And not enough to how to be able to take the masters. I had enough to do the doctorate program. I said, let me take the masters first and then go to the doctorate program. So now I'm praying that the Lord provide a scholarship. The Lord provide hallelujah, a scholarship enough for me to take. Hallelujah. Six hours. I know it's nobody but God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Memphis Amen. Theological Seminary. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. I was going to keep it out the bridge, but I couldn't keep it to myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And a scholarship. Amen. And a scholarship. Amen. Yes. Father, Amen. We Amen. We thank you for the word, the preach word, the bread, from heaven, the bread Amen. from heaven to feed us until we want no more. Yes. The Amen. all that feels the filthy, the, 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 the wood of seraphim. Jug, Father God, fill us up, oh God. To be to fill us up on the day that we uh, we grind. We don't want to go to church, but Father, when we get together, it's the fellowship that we get together. And Lord, our our cup <laughs> is over. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We thank Amen. you, God, that the bread of life that you are in our lives. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 Amen.